I'm Sridhar Ramaswamy from NVIDIA. Uh, I'm here to talk about Project Kala, which is our next generation uh, quad-core CPU-based mobile processor. Uh, Kala has a quad-core Cortex-A9 CPU and a new 12-core NVIDIA GPU with support for 3D stereo. Uh, it also supports Extreme HD, which means it supports a Blu-ray quality video playback at 2560 by 1600 resolution at 50 megabits per second. Uh, here I have a Kalal development platform. Uh, we are showing a game called uh, Great Battles that's developed by uh, War Drum Studios. Uh, this is like a PS3, Xbox 360 console quality game that has been ported over to a tablet device. Uh, you can see there are over 600 troops here in intense active battle and all the processing that is required is done by the CPU and the GPU to deliver a really good experience. Uh, another uh, good use of the quad core CPU is for common use case web browsing. Here we have a pre-recorded video of a demo that we captured yesterday where we show the CPU utilization of the core CPU cores when you know websites are being loaded. You see that the websites are being loaded really fast and the, all four CPU cores are being used. Uh, that means with quad core you get much much faster web, uh, web browsing experience, and it will be you know almost two to uh, one point five to two times faster than current generation dual core uh, you know, CPU based. So uh, one of the questions I had is that you guys are announcing this now. When is it going to be available? Uh, we expect tablet devices based on Kalal to be available sometime in the August time frame of this year, and uh, smartphones later in December. How are you able to get it out so soon? Because I've spoken with a couple of your competitors, and they're not thinking they'll have uh, their quad cores until next year. So how are you guys able to get it this year? Exactly. I mean, our competitors announce products on paper, and they don't uh, have eventually samples come out. Later. Uh, we innovate at a very rapid pace and we announced Tetra 2 last year and today we have like Tetra 2 and devices like Motorola, Apex and Android Optimus. And now we are announcing Kala, so we keep the same line one to one year cadence and you can expect to see devices coming like right now. And uh, you mentioned that it has like a PS3 quality graphics. What what are you using for the GPU? So we have a GeForce class GPU, 12 core GeForce class GPU uh, okay. that is basically based on our high end desktop uh, GeForce GPU, but it's been optimized for a mobile uh, farm. And uh, most of our readers are end users, so they might not be as familiar with the technical uh, terms. What are some of the advantages to having a quad core processor opposed to currently, which is a dual core? Uh, the quad core processor delivers uh, faster web browsing, like I showed out here, uh, console quality gaming, uh, like this game out here. And in addition, it also reduces the power consumption of the mobile devices because it's quad core. You can like, distribute the workload across the four CPUs and run the CPU cores at a lower frequency and voltage, and that means lower. Power. So they get low power, uh, you know, faster web browsing, higher quality gaming, and you can also do extreme multitasking. So use cases like the laptop that is shown on the Motorola Atrix now can become more evolved, and even your tablet and smartphones can be your primary computing device. Uh, how does it affect battery life? Uh, it, uh, so the fact that we are showing this in a uh, tablet form fashion shows that we are able to you know, deliver the quad core performance, you know, in a mobile. Uh, also, I noticed on your roadmap that you guys are also announcing stuff that you're doing after Kalal. Yeah. Is there any fear that people might be hesitant to buy the products if they know that eight months later there's going to be something even better coming out? Well, that's the nature of technology, right? Like we rapidly like uh, observe uh, drive ourselves to oxidation. So yeah, technology evolves rapidly. People who uh, want the cutting edge technology to buy products today, people who are more hesitant will wait for you know the technology to mature and we buy a whole generation product. But in the end, consumers want you know the great Okay. And lastly, what's what's the one thing you think that's going to separate Kalal from stuff that other companies are coming out with the next year? The fact that we have quad cores today and we have uh, you know tablets based on Kalal and August is really exciting. And the fact that we have a GeForce Plus GPU in here and we are leveraging all our you know relationship with our desktop PC game developers, bringing you know console quality and PC quality gaming to tablet devices that are distribution fast. None of our company does have that experience and being in the GPU business for our And we'll start seeing this in, in products in maybe August. Do you guys have any, want to tip your hand about who's going to be delivering that? Uh, I can't really talk about that. We are waiting for our customers to make their own announcements.
Okay. All right. This is Andrew from Andronica.com, and we're here at Nvidia. And Kalel looks to be coming out this summer, probably. Superman is going to be here to save the day.